Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rajas Kakasungura YouTube channel. A uh, very big thank you to those who are supporting this platform. Kaka, <clears throat> the National Treasury is confirming my sentiments that yes, there are facts you cannot erase. One, Kenya is on a looting spree. Kenya is on a borrowing spree. Those are two facts you can never change from this unpopular administration. Kaka, if you want to travel to Kisi, you are coming from Mombasa, you are coming from the United States, you are coming from Canada, or in short, you are coming from abroad, you are coming from Nakuru, from whatever place you want to travel from to Kisi. Remember, Hotel Nyakwa in Kisi gives you the feeling of being in a hotel. It has the cleanest environment. It has the best chefs. It has quality foods. Why? Because it has their organic garden. Yamboga Zakienyeji. It's there. They don't buy in bulk and store them in the fridge. Wanatoa kwa shamba, kwa jiko. They have the best management. Na rooms is zao. Zico spacious and executive. We are private rooms whereby if you are a business person, you can come to that hotel, you book the room, and then Iko Pakana sitting room pale, Iko Pakana uh, wardrobes pale, Iko na kitanda kizuri, Iko na cho pale mzuri, Iko na bathroom pale, Iko na compound yake private. So you can sit and spend your time in your private compound just like home, but in a hotel. This service is only offered by the hotel in Yakoe in Kisi. So today, if you're traveling, make sure you visit hotel in Yakoe. Na wakati wa usiku, they have underground stairs, so you don't need to kupita kwa barabara, no. They have a petrol station. They have a ready mechanic. So ukienda na gari, Kama unataka kufanyua service, si lazima utoke ukimpie kuenda sijini wapi. No, kila kitu unamaliziwa pale. Mafuta ikisho unataka kuongeza gari, petrol station niko pale na kila kitu unamalizia kazi yako pale, 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 pale. So leo hii, visit hotel in your and they will give you the best, best, best services you deserve. The Kenya Kwanza administration, according to the treasury, borrowed 223.5 billion in just five months, right? 223.5 billion in just five months. Mezi metano. Kenya kwanza kupitia kwa ruto wamekopa bilioni miambiri the ishirini na tatu. And this is according to a verified report from the National Treasury. According to the report which was submitted to parliament, it shows that Kenya Kwanza took 11 loans. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 loans between September 2023 and January 2024. 11 loans in five months. Hey, chai! Mm -hmm. Wa Kenya. According to the report, the loans were meant to improve financial viability of Kenya power. Kwa nini? Wanaweka pesa Kenya power kwa sababu wako na shares pole. Eh? Sasa, stability gani hii waliweka Kenya power na stima inazima ruta akionge? Which stability was this? Mume kulwa wa Kenya. Mume fiekwa. Watu walikopa pesa wakuje kustabilize Kenya Power. Lakini Kenya Power nayo, power inapatea marambili ruta kiongea in different occasions. Halafu mnasema, mume stabilize Kenya Power. Walikula pesa. Walikula. <laughs> increase employment earning and increase access to electricity. Hey. 
Eh? The loans were also meant to support Kenya's northeastern region in achieving its full economic potential and improving the socio-economic welfare of its population. To enhance revenue mobilization and deepen accountability and transparency of public finance management at the national government level and other reasons. The first loan was signed on October 23rd, 2023, between the OPEC Fund for International Development, amounting to 5 billion, which was meant to support Kenya's northeastern province in achieving its full economic potential and improving socioeconomic welfare. On December 6, 2023, the government borrowed 14.2 billion from International Development Association EDA to the National Youth Opportunities towards the Advancement Project, ostensibly to increase employment, earnings, and promote savings for targeted youth. <coughs> the country also borrowed 28.5 billion towards the Kenya Green and Resilient Expansion of Energy Program to improve financial uh, viability of Kenya Power and increase. So, 28 billion is left for Kenya Power, according to this report from the Treasury, to stabilize access to electricity. Like it is ni nani? Inaenda ruta kiongea. Two times different occasions. Mungu, you know, Mungu ni Mungu wa jabu. You will do in the dark. God will expose it in broad daylight. 36.9 billion was also borrowed to enhance revenue mobilization and deepen accountability and transparency of public finance management at the national government level. The country further borrowed 4.3 billion from EDA to increase access to irrigation water of project beneficiaries, enhance institutional framework, strengthen capacity for water security, and climate resilience in certain areas of territory in the recipient. <clears throat> the government also took a syndicated term loan facility of 36 billion to fund development projects for refi uh, refinancing or repurchase of euro bonds issued by the borrower and payment of any fees, costs, and expenses in connection with finance documents. The health sector also benefited from loan taken as they got 17 billion to strengthen the health systems, resilience, and multi-sectoral preparedness and response to health emergencies in Kenya. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your government because my government was one of Raila Odinga. But Kenya Kwanza is your government. I have read this for you to get a clear indication and a confirmation of my words. Kenya is on a looting spree. Kenya is on a borrowing sp 11 loans in just five months. So how much were these guys, can we calculate, can we do this math, by the way? Let's do this math together using a calculator. 223 billion, yeah, 223 uh, billion, yeah? 223 million, 223 billion, right? Divide by five. So they were borrowing 44 billion every month. Divide by 30. So they were borrowing 1.4 billion daily. Yeah? 1.4 billion daily. Divide by 24 hours. So Kenya Kwanza was borrowing 61 million every hour. Yani, Samoja Ikisha, Ruto Ameboro 61 million. 
Saa saba, Ruta ameboro 61 million. Saa nane, ameboro 61 million. Saa tisa, 61 million. Saa kumi, 61 million. Saa kumi na moja, 61 million. Saa kumi na... So, Ruto was borrowing 61 million every... Yani kila saa, Ruto anakoba 61 million. <laughs> Sini sana kari yenu. God bless you, ladies and gentlemen. See you in the next video. Do not forget to visit Hotel Nyakoe in Kis. It's the only hotel in Gusi that offers a five-star services at a three-star level. Ladies and gentlemen, it is clean, neat. It is secured. Your security is guaranteed. So today, Tambele Hotel Nyakoe and they will give you the best services you deserve. God bless you, ladies and gentlemen. See you in the next video. Asante Nisan.